Hey everyone, and welcome to Pacific Northwest Worm Farming. Just coming out here to do a little bit of exploration today. See how everything's going. Got a couple of little plants starting to take shape. Some sprouts that are starting to grow off on their own now that I thinned them out a little bit. <clears throat> of course the jade. Look at that big old trunk right down in there. So little bit of stuff in there and then of course our snake plant back there doing just awesome come down here I just moved an aloe vera down this morning after it got a little bit of water Let's see looking like we got some good roots growing in up here nice little fat pepper growing down there blueberry has finally lost all of its dead leaves and starting to show a lot of good new leaf growth see in here of course I can't see because I'm not paying attention both of these peppers not really doing a whole lot right at the moment you can see frogs have been playing up here and we've even had an insect eating come down here definitely had some insects eating off this guy and then got pruned back but we still have pepper growing new leaf coming in down there this one unfolding up here still this one's just about ready to split I'm waiting for that little root all the way down in here the aerial root just to start to show me a little bit more growth and then I will take that and it will become its own new plant come down here strawberries are starting to show some exciting new growth down in here hopefully we'll get a few from them later on potatoes this one's going to get moved to a different bag here soon i'm just waiting to get the roots going a little bit stronger and then finally warm bit because that's what we do here and that's what we're all about look at that some fresh guys right up on top in this fairly new warm bin Ooh, some nice insect action but one of my biggest questions that everyone is always asking me how do I tell when my warm bins ready well you can see here the way the soil has kind of started to look on top and then you have a bunch of this little stuff where they've been making their own little Worm breeding areas. See some a little bit around the edges too. And what I like to say is once they start to get a lot of cake stuff. So for example, if we come down here to this big bin, this one's very, very new. So it has a lot of paper that hasn't even decomposed on top. That one, no. Not even anywhere near ready. This one smells a little bit earthy. Not quite. I like to wait until you can pretty much see that they're at a good dry level. Or if they're not getting to a good dry level, I will take a lid off and pray, no, place them under some intense lights for a couple of days. Just to make everybody go deep and let that surface dry. And then I'll mix it, close the lid let everybody kind of mix that moisture around repeat in a couple of weeks if I'm not satisfied it's just that simple it's time you got to be patient with worms and degrading things it's not always the funnest but there are simple ways to speed it up they are cutting things up in little pieces right there I have a shredder I will be taking some video hopefully later this week to show how and what I do with that and we'll go from there. Hope everyone has a great rest of your week.